Hey guys! So today I'm just going to be doing a contour routine for beginners and just show you some tips and tricks and give you some recommendations for maybe um, some alternative brands and brushes and stuff to use if you're wanting to save money and just kind of try this out for the first time. So we'll just go ahead and get into the video. So I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. I have the light one obviously because I'm pale. Um, but they also have ones, um, like NYX has one, BH Cosmetics has one, and those are more affordable. This one's around $36. I do think the quality is amazing. Um, and then Kat Von D has one that's like 42 and every time I go to get it, it's sold out. So I'm like still trying to get that baby, but, um, we're going to be using this today. So the first thing to contouring is just kind of realizing that what you're doing by contouring is making parts of your face look like sunken in and like receded. So, to find your cheek contour, what I do is go to like the top of your ear right here, suck in those cheeks, and there's almost a natural line right there that shows you where your contour is. So, I don't like to go all the way into my mouth, I think that starts to make it look like a beard. So, I'll stop right around the corner of that, like the edge of my eye right there, and then I will make my contour right there. So if you want it to be really dramatic, you can go in with something like super tiny and tapered like this or get like the NARS Eda brush that's kind of like, um, like a line. I don't know how to describe it. But I go in with the middle shade. It's like the grayest shade because you want it to look like a shadow. You don't want to go in with warm colors. You don't want to go in with like a bronzer that you might typically use. So I would go in with this. Run that shade right in that contour and that gives you a sharp line like too sharp so I just wanted to draw that on so you could kind of see like where we're going with this contour and like see where mine is like very starkly so don't actually do this but I just wanted you guys to get an idea of where my contour is okay so I would actually go in with a brush very similar to this like Morphe E3 brush it's tapered, so it really allows you to get into the contour of those cheeks, but it like blends it very well, so you don't have a stark line. I mean, if that's what you're going for, you can do that, but I like my contour to look a little bit more natural and just kind of give me that like more um, slim appearing face, because I do have a round face. So, go back in with some more of that shade, and then just a blend, blend, blend. And I'm kicking myself right now because I just realized that I forgot to put on concealer and I've already powdered my face. So I guess no concealer today. That's okay. Other side, start from the top of the ear, go to about the edge of your eye, blend, blend, blend. All right, <clears throat> so cheeks are chiseled. I think you can tell a difference from prior to contouring and now. It just kind of looks more defined. I don't know. Then, <clears throat> if you have a bigger forehead, which I feel like I do, um, I like to go in with more of like the tan shades on my forehead. They still all kind of have like a gray undertone, so it will still kind of appear like a shadow. But I like to mix the two edge colors. And then I just go like right along the hairline, down to the temple. And I'll bring whatever excess I have like over to that middle section right there. And that will just kind of make your forehead appear smaller. So I think you can see the difference between this side and this side. Go in, get some more of those shades. Same thing on the other side. And you kind of just have to play it around with your contour. Like <clears throat> everyone's face shape is different. So the things that you want to make appear smaller, use contour shades, and the things you want to make seem brighter and bigger and whatever, do with the um, highlight shades. You just kind of got to play around with it in the mirror and see what looks best for your face. Um, I do also like to go right under that jawline and just kind of make that jaw appear a little bit more chiseled. And then, if 
you have kind of like a bigger nose or like a crooked nose or the bridge of your nose is really wide, you can go in and contour your nose. I personally don't do this that often, um, but for a dramatic look like what I'm wearing today, it's not a bad idea. So I'll just show you for the sake of the video. Go in with that gray shade. And I go right along the sides of the nose there. And blend like crazy. You can kind of bring it up into that eyebrow socket so it looks a little more natural. Go around and pick up a little more. Other side. So I think you can see like that definitely makes my nose look more narrow. And then if you have like, my real issue is like the tip of my nose, like I have like a ball almost on the edge of my nose. So I like to just make that look a little smaller. So what I'll do is just brush a little right under the tip of my nose there. And if you're wanting to create like a ball shape, you can run some right over the middle section of your nose there. And that will just kind of make that look more like a ball. The other thing I wanted to mention too is you really want to keep your contour above that contour line. So I would blend up, not down, because then that kind of defeats the purpose of what you're doing. But if you did for any reason go a little lower than what you were planning on, I would go in with like a translucent powder or like um, a tinted powder or even use those highlight colors in the Anastasia kit and just run that right along that contour and it will really, really make it stand out. So I'm just gonna go in with a little of my Laura Mercier powder and just run that right along that contour. I'm just gonna let that sit for a second and really absorb into the skin and then we'll brush it off and yeah. Obviously the longer you let that powder sit, the more dramatic and defined it will be, but that just kind of helps brighten up any areas that maybe you made a little too dark or you brought down a little bit too low. And now I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. I'm just gonna put on some highlighter and blush and all that. And then I will come back and show you the um, finished product. All right guys, so after you pop on some blush and highlighter, this should be your finished look. Um, definitely more chiseled, definitely gives your face more definition, makes you look a little slimmer. So I hope that you learned something and that maybe you'll go home and practice. And if you do, take pictures and share them with me on Instagram, tag at Kaylee Beauty, and I would love to see them. It's so cool to see the transformations that people can make just by contouring. So hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching. I've missed you so much the past week. I'm happy to be back in filming. So as always, leave any comments down below. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see more videos every week. Thanks, guys. Bye. Ooh, I should take a picture. I should take a before and after picture, right, y'all? I'm sorry. I'm, like, delusional right now. I don't know what my deal is. All right. We done. We got two videos in here. Uh. Come here, Pepper. Say hey, bye. Come here. Come here. Come on, Mommy's left. All right. Say bye. Not to me. Don't say bye to me, say bye to them. They want to see you, you're so cute. You're so cute. Oh, give me hugs. Oh, give me hugs. Oh, Nancy's looking. Say hi, guys, I'm cute. Oh, she sees herself in the mirror. We're so pretty. We're so pretty. We're so pretty. Oh, we're so pretty. Yes, you are. Okay, do you want to go play with your piggy now? Or should mommy edit? Mommy should probably edit her videos. Alright. Bye!